Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to develop an iOS app without using storyboards. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, let's open Xcode and create a new Xcode project. And I'll select the single view application, then I will name it. I will name it Prog UI, that is programmatic UI, you can call it. And I will click on next, and then I will create this project. So let me tell you that the by, by default, this project is using this main dot storyboard file to you know uh, show up the UI. But we don't need to you know use this because we are going to do it in a programmatic manner. So we will just delete this file right from here, and I'll move it to trash. Now the one more thing that we need to change is the main interface setting. That is this main is written over here. Just delete this main from here because it is letting the main dot storyboard to initialize the UI. So I have just removed this main from here. Now we are good to go. We need to go to the app delegate dot Swift file and here we need to use the object called window and how we will go use it. I'll just show you in a second. So guys, this window is of type UI window, which is a, you know, main container box in which many views can be uh, inculcated or you can, uh, you know, manage all the views inside this window. So we will use this window to initialize our app and I'll write window equals to UI window and I'll get a frame. So the frame would be a UI screen dot main dot bounds. So this line, this frame is that the main screen of our, uh, you know, app the complete screen has been allotted to this window now and now I will write window dot root view controller because the root view controller is a controller which will initialize the application the very first you know after the launch screen the very first uh, window that you will see will be the root view controller so here we have a by default made file called view controller so I will just name this view controller here right here in this root view controller so i'll write this and just constructor okay now we need to just show up this window so i'll write make key and visible so now we will be able to make changes to our you know ui using this programmatic approach so now i just run this application i'll show you that how it works so guys here you see this black screen over your you know uh, this a simulator and this assures and this confirms that we, so far we are going good and we need to just change make changes because the by default view controller background color is black in this case uh, when we used to you know go through a programmatic uh, approach so let's change the background color of our view controller so let's go back to our view controller file and just open your view controller file and in the view did load i will write view dot background color background color will be equal to ui color ui color dot white and i'll just run the app again and i'll you know show you that the color has been changed now so guys here you see that the color has been changed to white now and earlier it was black and i told you in a programmatic manner when we used to uh, you know initialize the application it has a black color as background so now we have changed the background color so let's make other changes to this ui and i'll just go and make a label in this okay so let me name the label to be a label which is of type ui label and it would be a block so i'll write this let l equals to ui label all right and l dot text not the text color l dot text would be equal to hey there and l dot font would be equals to ui font dot bold system size font and the size would be suppose 20 all right guys so now we need to just return this inside this block and we are good to go with this label and we need to write this label inside our view did load first so we will add this 
add sub view so we will write view dot add sub view and this new view called label will be added right here so guys now you must be wondering that now that we have added this label inside this view as a sub view so it must be visible on the you know app screen but sorry this is not the case because uh, till now we have not set the position for this label and this position is called constraint in this uh, you know ios project so we need to add some constraints to it so that it could be visible on our app screen so let's do that by writing label dot translate auto resizing mask into constraint and i'll make the value of this to be false and it will allow us to make uh, you know add on the constraints and to make them active it will allow us to do that so let's write label dot you know the top anchor the top constraint and dot constraints would be equal to constraints okay constraints equal to so constraint would be equal to view dot safe area layout guide dot top anchor and i'll make it active by writing is active equals to true now we have added the top anchor now we need to add the left anchor which is also called leading anchor in this case so i'll write leading anchor dot constraints equals to and i'll write view dot leading constraint okay leading anchor and i'll make it to be active so let's write true against it as well so now that we have done this work let's build our app again and run this so guys here we see our new created label and the label text was hey there so it is written right over here so so far we are going good so now we need to add a button as well i'll show you some uh, thing with that button so let's create it so let's write let button i'll name it to be button equals to ui button okay and i'll add this button to to this ui view by writing view dot add sub view view dot add sub view and i'll write button right here so now that i have added this uh, you know button so you know the drill we need to add some constraints for it as well so i'll write button dot translate auto resizing mask into constraints and i'll write false for this value and now i will add some constraints to it so say if i want to uh, you know just position this button just in the middle of this ui views on this app so i'll write button dot center x anchor and i'll write the center x anchor to be view dot center x anchor and i'll make it a active one okay so i'll write true against it now i need to you know make the y anchor to be equals to the view dot y anchor as well so i'll write button dot center y anchor dot constraints equals to okay i took some other type of constraint so i'll just train change it i'll write this and i'll write view dot center y anchor so i'll make it to be active as well so i'll write this and make it true so guys now we could see that we have created this button and so far we have not given it any you know font or any text so we also need to give it some text so now i'll write button is set title and the title would be uh, you can say change i have written change and the control type would be a normal one now i also need to add it uh, color so set title color so i'll give it a color which is of ui color type so i'll write ui color dot mm, 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 mm. so i'll give it a blue color and the control state would be you know normal again now i have given the color to it i have given the title to it now i need to give it a action so this button must perform an action so i'll write button dot add target so there is the add target and the target would be self when i will touch the button it must act i'll write the function which will act over 
So I'll write the function which will perform which will be performed when I will click this button. So I'll write the function name uh, touched. Okay, and I'll create a new function called touched right below and then state the event state must be touch up inside. So this is it. Now we need to create a new function called touched and there we will perform the function when we will click on that. So I'll write a new function. So guys, there you see I have written func and this function name and I'll just give it an action. So what changes do I need to perform? Say, say I, must, I will change the label text. The label dot text would be the text would be uh, say bye bye and the label dot color can also be changed so text color text color okay so i'll write ui color dot say okay blue color all right guys so i have created this new button uh, and the button name is change okay I need to fix this by writing objective C syntax object against my function. Okay, all right, no problem. So I'll just fix it. Okay, it has been fixed. Uh, we have written this against it. Mm -hmm. And now the button name is changed. And we will when we will click on this button, the value of that label must be changed from here there to bye bye, and the color of that text must also be changed to blue. So let's see that by building and running our app. So let's see. So guys, now we have our application which has been made completely programmatically and when I will click on this button called change, yeah, the value of that hey there has been changed to bye bye and the text color has also been changed. So guys, that's a simple example to show you how to, you know, work with programmatic UI and how we can make changes to our complete app and how we can build a complete app using the programmatic manner. So I hope you like it and if you have any doubt, please. Uh, write it in the comment section down below i'll surely reply to that so guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future see you in the next one bye bye jai hind